I'll show you how to stitch panoramas in Affinity Photo. To begin with, we will go to File, New Panorama. This brings up the New Panorama dialog, where we can add our individual images that require stitching. I can click Add, and browse to my images, select them all, and click Open. To add them to the file list here, you can create panoramas from JPEGs, TIFFs, RAW files, and any other supported image format. Rather than using RAW files, I would however recommend pre-processing them first to a lossless format such as TIFF. This will ensure you can apply any corrections or edits to the images first, such as highlight recovery or processing to a wider color profile. Then I can click Stitch Panorama, and Photo will quickly analyze the images and produce a thumbnail preview of the panorama. I can then click OK, and the full resolution panorama will be rendered. With the majority of panoramas, there will often be alpha areas around the edges of the stitched result. One quick way to crop these away is to select the Crop tool, then on the Context toolbar, click Crop to Opaque. Once I am happy with the crop, I can move to a different tool, such as the Hand tool here, to see how the final image looks when cropped. Once I am finished, I can click Apply, and this will commit the panorama rendering and take us back to the main photo persona, where we can perform further edits to the image and export it. For example, I might add a vibrance adjustment and bring the vibrance slider up to increase color intensity without clipping or oversaturating the colors. I'll show you another example where we might try and artificially expand the overall coverage of the panorama rather than crop it away. This time, I'll add a set of images from the Snowden folder. This is a much larger panorama, made up of many portrait orientation images. The alpha areas, which are mostly at the top and bottom, are fairly uniform and nondescript, so would be ideal for in-painting, which will spare us from having to crop further. To achieve this, I can simply enable this option up here, in-paint missing areas, before I click apply. This will present another progress bar as Affinity Photo inpaints those missing areas with information inferred from other areas of the image. Again, we can perform further non-destructive editing to the final panorama, such as adding a brightness contrast adjustment and increasing both sliders slightly. And that was a quick video on how to stitch panoramas in Affinity Photo. Thank you for watching.